Alexa, please stop. Good afternoon, first grade. Today, I'm asking a question. Which plate has the most money? Is it plate A? Is it plate B? Or is it plate C? Let's take a closer look here. See what we've got. Looking at C, we'll look at B. And we'll look at A again. Now just at first glance, it looks like A has the most money because there are the most coins on there. But then you might think it's C because C has dimes and they're worth more. So what do you think? Is it A, is it B, or is it C? Actually, guess what? They are all the same amount. Let's look at this one. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. We have 25 pennies. This is 25 cents. Over here, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 25 cents. And over here, we have 10, 20, 25. 25 cents. They're all 25 cents. Hmm. I wonder what we're going to learn about today. You guessed it. Today, we're finally going to count quarters. We have been counting quarters and doing the quarter cheer all year, boys and girls, haven't we? Because I knew that this was going to come late in the year, and I wanted you to be able to count quarters from the very beginning. So we know our quarter cheer. If you don't remember it, I'll put it down here, and we'll say it together. Hands on our hips, and here we go. 25, 50, 75, a dollar. We know our quarters, so let's give a holler. Woohoo! A holler means a loud shout or cry. So today we're going to talk about a quarter. So let's take a close look at a quarter. All right, on the front of the quarter, it's called the head side, and there is a man on the front. And a lot of you already know who it is because we've talked about this a lot in first grade. It's George Washington, the first president of the United States, the only president to not live in the White House because the White House wasn't built yet. That's right, he lived at Mount Vernon. On the back of the quarter, oh, this is a different kind of quarter. It's not what you normally see. This is one of the states, and that's what I wanted to show you. My mother-in-law collected all these for us. She collected the Washington quarters for us from each state. And it's really cool because you can see it talks about each state. The first state was Delaware. And it's got one from Pennsylvania and one from Denver. And it's got the Pennsylvania state. It's got one from Pennsylvania and one from Denver. Those are the, the mints where they were made. We've got down here in New Jersey, one made in Pennsylvania and one in Denver, and down here, Georgia. So it's really cool. You can see the peach, the peach state on that one. All right, but normally on a regular quarter, it has the eagle on the back, doesn't it? And it says a quarter of a dollar because it takes four quarters to make a dollar. So that's what we need to talk about today. So let's say I had one quarter. One quarter is worth 25 cents. Ding, 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 ding. But what if I had two quarters? How much is two quarters worth? And we'll turn this over so you can see George Washington. Two quarters is worth 50 cents. And that's why the cheer says 25.50, because one quarter is 25, and two quarters is 50. What if we had three quarters? Let's think of the cheer. 25, 50. That is correct, 75, 75 cents, three quarters. And what if I have four quarters? 
You guessed it. Four quarters is the same as one dollar. We can write it like this. And we've written that before during calendar time. An S with a line through it means dollars. And this period is called a decimal point when we do math. It means we have one dollar and we have zero cents. So let's take a look to see when we have more than one quarter. So now, when we have five quarters, we have a dollar and we're gonna start our quarter cheer over again. So we have a dollar and 25 cents. All right, let's take a look at four, five, six quarters. So we have a dollar and what comes after 25? Look again. That's right, a dollar 50 cents. A dollar and 50 cents. I think that's how much it costs to get a water out of the machine at school. Let's add another quarter. Now we have seven quarters. So we have a dollar, a dollar 25, a dollar 50, a dollar. We remember our quarter cheer? 25, 50, 75, a dollar 75. And last but not least, if we have eight quarters, we have two dollars. So every four quarters makes a dollar. So one last time, 25, 50, 75, a dollar. We know our quarters, so let's give a holler. Oh yeah, let's give a holler. Woo-hoo, quarters, quarter cheer. One other thing I wanna show you boys and girls, and some of you, I know when I was in first grade, I would not have understood this, but I wanna go ahead and show you anyway. When you look at a clock, a clock is actually broken up into quarters. We have been calling them fourths so far. There are four equal parts. And so a lot of times my grandma would say, do you know what time it is? And I'd look at the clock and I'd say, yes, grandma, it's 3.15. And she'd say, no, it's quarter after three. Because she was saying it's quarter, this is one quarter, after three. And I said, what is grandma talking about? I don't understand. I know this is 3.15, but 3.15 and quarter after three are the same time. So if your mom says, would you rather go outside at 3.15 or a quarter after three? You could say, mom, that's the same thing. I know that, I know that, I learned that in math. I'm so smart. All right, so if you watch this all the way through and you text me the word quarter, I will make sure I have a quarter ready for you at the next pickup. So if you text me the word quarter, I will have a quarter for you at the next pickup. Let's not forget, let's see our cheer. 25, 50, 75, a dollar. We know we're quarters, so let's give a holler. Nice job learning quarters. Don't forget to get some quarters out and actually touch them and look at the heads part and look at the tails and count your quarters and see how many dollars you have. Every four quarters. Makes a dollar. All right, I hope you've enjoyed hands-on math and I hope you've been able to get your hands on some math. See you later, bye-bye.